Hey gang, Tony here. I'm back with another video. This one is going to be a little different than a couple of past ones, but I do have my beer back. So, yeah, I was feeling a little naked without the beer, you know? So I, I poured myself an Oktoberfest. It's not pumpkin ale. It's not even October anymore, but Oktoberfest? Sure, why not? Mm -mm. Okay, so couple little chatty chat kind of things today, but the main thing is I want to announce my possible sale for the holidays. So if you follow me over on Facebook, and if you don't, why the hell not? Come on guys, Candy Corn Apocalypse, have fun over there. I always post about giveaways and things. So I have been posting little hints and... and trying to ask people like to say what they think I might be making for the holidays for my store MV shop. As you know, I sell little resin magnets and, and props and figures and things that I make. So I've been kind of hinting at what I might have been doing for the holidays. And f quite frankly, I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to do anything. And I really am not sure if I'm going to have time still. But I did make a prototype of something that if I have the time I would like to sell and I figured I would show you guys and then ask you if I should do it or not because if no one's really interested I'll save the time and not do it and the reason I'm not sure is because this is different than what I've been doing so without making you wait any longer let me just show you what I got here it's a Sam from trick-or-treat stocking. So I went a little different this time around. I don't know how well you guys could see this, so I'm trying to hold it up. Um, obviously I didn't sculpt anything this time and there's no resin involved. There is just a lot of sewing. I, I, I kind of wanted to do something a little different because I know a lot of people do like ornaments and things like that. So I didn't, I didn't really think there were many stockings out there that were like ha Halloween or horror related. So this is this is all sewn up, you know. See, it's got uh, the opening in there. I have some lining in there. Put a couple of buttons like the eyes, and I did a couple of burlap patches and the burlap cuff. And um, yeah, so that is what I've been working on. It's not. It's not definite. If if I do decide to sell this, I'm maybe going to change a couple things about it. I like the way it came out, but I'm probably going to change the type of fabric that the that this is made from so it's not the same fabric. Uh, I might change the lining to something else. And I was toying around with making it a little bigger too. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, it's a pretty decent, it's a pretty normal size I guess. But, I don't know, just some things I was thinking about. So, yeah. That is the Sam Trick or Treat stocking that I've been working on. Um, sound off. Let me know. Do you want me to make a bunch of these to sell in my store? I was thinking $20 a piece. And then um, I might make small, like tiny ones, smaller ones for a cheaper price. Um, I may sell like stuffed stockings for a little bit more. I, I don't know. All different things I've been toying around with. But um, mainly, uh, yeah, I want to know if you guys are interested in the stocking. If you want me to make these for the holiday sale. Um, and if so, is there anything about it that you think I should change? Because this is just pretty much a prototype. I could always change things about this. And I was also toying around with doing just generic stockings using like printed Halloween uh, fabrics and things like that and I was also toying around with doing some other styles so this one's a Sam one uh, maybe doing like a Michael Myers one or a Jason one or something like that I really wanted to do a Freddy one but I was having trouble finding the fabric uh, that would make it look right so I don't know I figured I'd, I'd show you guys what I've been working on and see where you are and you know in desire <laughs> do you like it do you want me to sell it so on and so forth okay <sighs> there you go.
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Um, however, you might notice that I'm wearing my uh, my Buffy shirt that I won, or that I didn't win, I bought. Uh, it was the mystery shirt, and you might remember if you've been watching for a while that I got the shirt and I had no idea what it was from, because it doesn't say Buffy the Vampire Slayer anywhere on it. And I did not watch the show prior to getting this shirt. I could finally wear it because since I've gotten this shirt months ago, I've been kind of, I, I don't think it's technically binge watching because it's taken me a while, but I've been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer this whole time and I just finished the series like a couple of days ago. And, um, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I, there were high points and low points. Uh, this episode, Hush, I think it's called, that was an all, that was probably my favorite episode. So the shirt is a little more wearable now, I think. Um, those characters, the gentlemen, are crazy creepy. Probably one of the scariest, if not the scariest, um, or creepiest anyway, uh, villains in that show. There was a lot of melodrama and kind of like, you know, uh, it, it, and I kind of, there were moments where I like just was going to give up on the, sh on the show altogether, but I figured let me watch it, you know. It's been decades, I guess, since it's been out, so I, <laughs> if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. All right, so I don't know that I would necessarily call myself a big fan of the show, but I have watched it, and I can wear my shirt now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am just about done rambling here. Please let me know your thoughts about the stockings, and I'll be back real soon with a box of Dread unboxing. That's what's next. Have a great Sunday, everybody. I've been cooking uh, green chili all day, chili, chili verde. Uh, with the pork and everything, so I can't wait to eat that. That's gonna be delicious! Oh my god, it's gonna be delicious! And I should have saved some beer to go with it, but I only have like one or two left. Oh well. So, I will talk to you soon. Bye.